Hi, welcome back. I am Paul Shard here. This is Heart of Gold. Happy October, everybody. Lance Post, I'm the Executive Director of Inclusion, Health, and Campus Partnerships. Welcome. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for having me. That's a lengthy title. Are you the first one? I am the first one, and, and actually uh, part of the heart of that, uh, that title and what I do is, uh, is what initially brought me to the University of Kentucky, and that, um, that was to found our LGBTQ resources office. So a part of my duties are, are uh, still, and, and uh, where that passion lies, are still at um, leading the office of LGBTQ resources. Um, I also lead uh, a couple other units in our institutional diversity portfolio. Um, our Center for Grad and Professional Diversity Initiatives and our Inclusive Health Partnerships. Um, but yes, yeah, so, so uh, five years here at UK and it keeps evolving and this, uh, this title is a part of that evolution. And you came here from where? I came here from uh, Ohio University okay. in, uh, in southeastern Ohio. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, when you came here five years ago, what was the climate in Lexington? What was the climate on campus for diversity? Yeah, so I think um, I encountered a culture in, in 2015 that had uh, been asking a lot of the right questions for a long time uh, around uh, diversity and inclusion in a, a broad sense. Um, I think I came at also an opportune time uh, when the campus was ready uh, to begin asking more specific questions about uh, diversity and inclusion for uh, LGBTQ folks on our mm -hmm. campus, students, mm -hmm. faculty, staff, mm -hmm. alums, and, and, and right, the broader community that, that uh, UK is, is the core of. Um, so it, it was a, a space that um, was primed, I think, for some mm -hmm. wonderful inclusion work in a more specific way, um, in a more intentional and, uh, and focused way on, on LGBTQ folks. Um, so it, in that way, it was, it was the perfect uh, space to walk into, um, and that's proven uh, true over the last five years. I know Lexington, I've lived here for a long time. I've never seen it more diverse with former gay mayor, female fire chief, African-American police chief, now female mayor, which I think is fantastic. Yeah. Painted the street, which was great. Oh, the crosswalks, yeah. Ha have a big uh, event every year. Um, so the city has been revving up. Did that translate the same thing on campus? And you said it was prime. What sure. does that mean? You know, I I think um, I think it was a it it was and continues to be a symbiotic relationship. Right, the city is not what it is without the University of Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And if we were in a separate space, not in this beautiful uh, uh, right mid sized mid mid sized city that we're in, uh, right, a, a university city. Uh, this unique uh, brand I love and that breed. Term, by the way. Uh, oh, it, it is, uh, I, and I think there's a lot of truth in that, yeah, right? Yeah. We are, um, we are a space because of uh, of of our art scene, because of our cultural and and, and business support around uh, higher ed and innovation. We are a unique kind of city, and and I think that city and and university connection really, uh, especially in in terms of diversity and inclusion, feeds on on one another and supports one another. Um, so what I mean by uh, primed is. Um, on campus, there were uh, student groups that had existed for, uh, for many years around um, LGBTQ identity. Um, there was an advocacy space in, um, in the old student center. We've got a, a brand new one there now, uh, mm -hmm. the corner of uh, Avenue of Champions and Limestone. But I, I came here just before the old uh, center went down. And on the first floor there for about a decade had been this space called the, the Outsource. Mm. Um, a student-led peer advocacy space mm. that um, was, was LGBTQ focused. Um, so there were groups like that uh, that students were leading. There were, uh, were faculty and staff members through a, um, a vibrant task force that had um, made the case for an LGBTQ office for a while. Um, there were uh, right folks in the city, including our, our uh, wonderful former mayor Jim, mm -hmm. um, a, a great friend and, and fabulous supporter of, uh, of our work at the university, um, who right were were. Um, combining efforts with the energy on campus to make this uh, not only a possibility uh, for, for an LGBTQ resource center uh, at University of Kentucky, but uh, to make it uh, a wonderful opportunity that very quickly began to thrive. Uh, yeah. I know younger people are a lot more accepting and cool with each other than older people. And I know younger people have a barrier with older people. And with kids being afraid to tell their parents, being afraid to tell adults, but I think peer groups, they're, 
they're fun. they're great with it. I mean, yeah. it's so great to see that. On the high school level, I don't know what they're doing. I think there are groups in local high schools to give kids that freedom of expression mm -hmm. and lifestyle. I don't know if their parents know about it. But what happens at UK when they come onto campus at UK and for the students at UK, LGBTQ, what barriers do they have and what, do you, what can you do for them? Yeah, so uh, from a K-12 perspective, um, we do, uh, whenever the opportunity presents itself, we, we do love to collaborate with, uh, with GSAs or uh, Gay Straight Alliances in high schools, what, um, what those LGBTQ groups are often called in, in those K-12 spaces. Uh, one of the most prominent ways we do that every year is through um, uh, co-sponsoring the, uh, the Welcome Back Picnic for GSAs in Fayette County. Um, you know, we've, we've connected with, uh, with other private schools in town as well, uh, including uh, Sayer, uh, providing some of those similar conversation and support mm -hmm. resources. But at the end of the day, also letting those students know uh, as they're beginning to, uh, right, to look at colleges and universities that uh, University of Kentucky is a place that, uh, that values belonging. Um, and we are a place where uh, you can bring whoever you are we want you to in an open and authentic mm -hmm. way uh, mm -hmm. to be able to right, achieve your goals of, of higher education, but to do that with all of you uh, and to feel supported, to feel valued, and uh, right, to feel safe and, and that you belong. Uh, so we begin that, again, in, in partnerships with a lot of our K-12 institutions. Um, as a prospective student, if you are uh, scheduling a, a visit on campus, um, we have worked with enrollment management in our Office of Admissions to build in uh, opportunities for visiting the LGBTQ Center while, uh, while you're there, mm -hmm. uh, right? While you're meeting your, uh, your potential faculty in, in colleges, um, while you're looking at the wonderful resources we have in, in dining and housing and, uh, and student activities. Um, you also have the opportunity to visit the, the LGBTQ office. So um, we're making that contact early. Uh, we're making it as frequently as, uh, as those students, uh, right? Individual journeys mean different things for different people in, in finding higher ed, but uh, we make sure that we cater those, uh, those encounters and resources uh, to support uh, those prospective students best. Uh, and then once they're on campus, we are a space uh, for advocacy, education, and community support, and that looks uh, different for every student, for every faculty mm -hmm. member and staff uh, member. Um, so that, that could look like connecting to an LGBTQ student group uh, and finding community in that way. Um, that could look like uh, right, looking for um, LGBTQ-specific uh, health care, whether it's uh, mental or, or holistic primary or specialized care, and, and we hmm. um, refer to our partners in, in UK's LGBTQ clinic, the, the Transform Clinic, um, in that way. Um, it could be, right, encountering a unique uh, issue related to identity with a, with a roommate or, mm. uh, or someone else on campus, and um, we're a space to help uh, mm -hmm. troubleshoot and provide advice around, uh, around maybe how to deal with those situations, mm -hmm. but also reassurance that at the end of the day, uh, the university is, is committed to you and all of you, and, uh, and we're here to help uh, support your success. Lance, do you have a website that you can give? We do. Okay, yeah, please. Certainly. It's, uh, it's really easy. Uh, UKY.edu slash LGBTQ. Hmm, how'd you come up with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very, we didn't, it wasn't a, a huge creative the process. The same person that came up with your title. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, how is it determined and brag on your status in the SEC? Yeah, so um, we are, are incredibly proud uh, to be a five-star campus on the Campus Pride Index. Um, that is uh, the product of a, a significant uh, time-intensive survey that looks at everything from the types of student groups that we, uh, that we have on campus to, uh, that, that are LGBTQ, um, to the types of courses and periodicals we have in our libraries, to what our student insurance uh, and, and university health services look like in terms of LGBTQ affirming care. Um, so we were very proud, um, uh, not surprised, but very mm -hmm. proud mm -hmm. uh, when all those efforts culminated in, in that award. Um, we are still the only school in the, the SEC with that designation, mm. uh, one of only a few uh, uh, flagship institutions in the region be beyond the South, right, looking into the Midwest as mm. well that, that have that designation. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, we're certainly not in a place of perfection, uh, but we've come a long way and we yeah. are, we are uh, steadfast in our, 
uh, our path of uh, supporting everyone, uh, but being able to name those specific hurdles that, mm -hmm. uh, and, and obstacles that unique populations face like LGBTQ folks and, and right, helping them achieve that goal in the end uh, and, and be valued members of our community. I'm guessing that the safety at UK and support is bottom up, top down, side to side. Well, I'm thinking for every, sure. everybody from Dr. Capluto across the board is on board with sure. fairness I, for everybody at UK. I agree. It is, a, it is uh, the LGBTQ story on campus is uh, one part of, a, of a, a broader, beautiful story of an institution that says, right, as, uh, uh, as someone who is seeking uh, learning, who wants to teach, who's seeking care, uh, right, you bring who you are and, uh, and know that um, you will be embraced, know that we will create space for you, uh, know that we value uh, the difference that you bring to us. Um, and right, that is from the top down, from the bottom up. Um, it again isn't something we always do perfectly. It, it is, I think, always an, an, an aspiration. It's a product of, of uh, or process of being. Um, but it's something I, I know quite truly we're committed uh, to being. Um, and that's what makes being at University of Kentucky a beautiful thing. And I, I love to hear that. Uh, in the last three minutes, how do you see UK different in your next five years than f from where you came? Yeah, so I think we've been able to lay uh, the, the, the groundwork for uh, most programmatic pieces from, uh, from housing to uh, healthcare, from uh, safety to uh, many uh, unique opportunities for connecting with community. Um, I think in the next five years, uh, rather than sort of building out, it's building up. Um, with a foundation uh, continuing to, to listen closely to what our community is saying mm -hmm. um, they need and that they value, uh, and being able to continually uh, enrich the opportunities that we have uh, for engagement, uh, for safety, for uh, right thriving in, in a, uh, an environment where you are healthy, um, and not only um, where you're valued, but where you really, at the end of the day, where you want to belong. Um, and, and I think, I don't, I don't know the exact, uh, you know, five bullet points of where we'll be in five mm -hmm. years, uh, but it, that's the essence of where we're going. You support the people that step forward and say they're part of the LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. The other X percent, I hope that they're also on board with UK being a safe place for inclusion, harmony, diversity sure that it's not just for your group yeah it's yeah. Uh, uh, right again not an oasis as mm -hmm. no place is um, and we are also not an office that uh, that restricts our conversations and our support to folks who hold an LGBTQ identity it is just as important uh, in conversations about diversity and inclusion to engage people who are uh, who are allies who are uh, perhaps coming from a place where they don't hold one of those identities but where uh, they want to see everyone succeed, where they're curious, um, where they want to build new community, um, and, and where space for, for that exploration and, and uh, that, that bridge building, that friendship opportunity as well. It, it's so refreshing to hear all this until I heard about it recently from a common friend. I didn't know, but it's great that UK is excelling in one more thing, just showing off like they do in the SEC. Lance Poston, thank you very much. Thank you. Best of luck to you and your venture. It's Fantastic. I'm Paul Chartier. Thanks for watching. This has been Heart of Gold. Mm -hmm.